season coming off the Holy Cross game uh, last game. And, you know, we've been talking about this idea, Kyle, right? It's so many great things. Consistency. Where, where are you guys at in, in trying to, uh, you know, reach that max level uh, more often through these games? Yeah, um, I think that the talent is there. Um, and we've shown at times to be um, on offense, super explosive and on defense lights out. Um, but then... Uh, it always hasn't been like that. Like sometimes, you know, we stall a little bit on offense and then, um, you know, I know the defense wishes they had a few drives back uh, as well. And then, uh, you know, the same goes for special teams. I think at times they've been really good. And at times we left points on the field. So I think just reaching that that level of consistency where we're always on, we're always firing. Um, and then, you know, if we, we aren't, then it's just for, you know, a few plays or, you know, one drive and then we get right back to it. Um, so yeah, just reaching that level of consistency, I think is going to be what takes us to the next level. And you guys have been on plenty this season too. Does that, I mean, it's not like you're like, man, we don't know what we're doing yeah. here. Grasping mm-hmm. at straws. Yeah. That, that's got to help you, right? You're like, okay, we, we've got the, yeah. this bank of drives that we, we know exactly how to get down the field. Yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, I, I feel like the, the most encouraging thing, uh, at least the way that, that I've looked at it is every single time that we've needed to, um, you know, make a big play or, you know, go on a drive and, and score, uh, we've responded, um, which is what you want to see. And, um, you know, necessarily we, we always haven't been, you know, great every game. Uh, we left points on the field, uh, in my mind, every single game, uh, you know, we didn't play to, you know, the best that we could have. Um, but I think that's, that's the thing that, you know, makes you, you know, show up at the facility every day and, you know, get ready to, to go to work and just find ways to get better, you know, cause we obviously still haven't, uh, tapped into our full potential. I feel every week we're talking to you about like a different one of your weapons that you have good chemistry with. We've talked about yeah. Payne and we've talked about uh, Getz and then we'll, I'm sure Ronde will bounce mm-hmm. back from a couple yeah. of slow weeks. Now let's toss Jackson Meeks in there. 10 for yeah. 161. He, he's outdone anybody else mm-hmm. on the team uh, so far this season. Did, did that surprise you at all or is that uh, not that you're getting 10 for 161 yeah. every game? Is that the yeah. guy you knew? Uh, honestly, not surprising. Um, I feel like uh, Coach Fran said it about the receiving core is it really isn't like a, a number one guy necessarily, but everybody contributes extremely well. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I feel like a lot of teams try to, you know, scheme up ways to stop OG. And, um, you know, if they leave him one on one, I like that matchup. And then, you know, if they double him, uh, like, you know, he, he's gotten in the, the past few weeks, then it opens up other guys. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. I think guys have really stepped up and made plays when. Uh, their numbers called, and I think Meeks just, you know, was a perfect example of that. You know, n- not necessarily somebody that everybody had had circled going into the game or going into the season, but for him to step up and, uh, you know, go for 160 yards and, and 10 catches and a touchdown uh, is huge. Uh, how about like, a guy like Daryl Gill? That barely played the first two weeks. Mm-hmm. We saw him come on uh, late in the season last year as a true freshman. Yeah. I, I mean, this is a guy who seems to fit in just as well as anybody else, right? Yeah. No, Gill's another, another guy, uh, extremely talented. Uh, a young guy and I think he's really starting to, to buy in and um, you know I, I think especially in the Stanford game on that last drive made some really big catches uh, the, the last drive we had when we went down and scored the first play uh, I think he took it for like 20 yards and then he we converted on a third and 19 maybe is what it was I forget it was third and long and scrambled out found him down the field and uh, scored again this week and, and made some really big catches so I think that just goes to show the receiver room is is deep and there's a lot of guys that can play. We've talked a lot about, you know, the running game this season and all that, but how good of a pass catcher is LeQuint? That's what makes him, I think, one of the best backs in the nation is, um, you know, extremely tough runner, um, tough to bring down, uh, great vision and and runs through contact and is elusive. But then uh, in the pass game, he's a viable option at receiver, obviously at the the one-handed catch on – on Saturday and mm-hmm. uh, had some really big check downs to get first downs um, in the game as well. And so uh, I think, you know, his, his rushing along with his um, receiving ability, you know, he's going to give you a hundred plus all purpose yards every single game. And he's, he's done great as well as pass protection too, which I could talk all day about with him. I mean, he, he's been great in that area as well. How important is that for, for quarterbacks? Cause right. Like sometimes there's like, you're like that guy's blitzing. Yeah, it's your job yeah. to stop that yeah. guy from yeah. taking my head off. How much confidence do you have to have in your back in those situations? Yeah, I mean it's big. It's big, and it's the one one stat really with the running backs that doesn't get tracked. Obviously, yeah. everybody wants to look at uh, how many yards they had on the ground and how many catches and how many touchdowns. But um, those pass protection 
uh, plays where, you know, he's in and he does a great job stepping up and, you know, meeting a linebacker coming full speed head on and giving me time to throw the ball down the field is uh, kind of a, a secret uh, key to the offense that I don't think people necessarily uh, see or value, but um, I sure know that I do. Uh, and I, I make sure I tell them that I appreciate it. I don't know if you watched the TV copy of the game back at all with the announcers. They mentioned an odd amount of times last game. Apparently, LeQuint has giant hands. Is this, yeah. is this a, I know I've shook his hand before. I don't yeah. recall it being unusual. Is, yeah. Has he got giant mitts going? He does. He does. For someone his size, his hands are like freakishly large. And then uh, he has a size 14 shoe. We were the same cleats, too. Um, mm. So. Uh, yeah, he, he does have giant hands. I think he wears like a three or four X, uh, glove, which nope. is crazy. Okay. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm about eye to eye with him and, yeah. uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't have a 14 shoe. That's yeah. not how that's working. Okay. Yeah. Well, that explains a lot. So that, that explains why when you throw him the ball, he's catching it every yep. time, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Just got to kind of put it in his, uh, his area code and. You know, he'll, he'll get it. All right, we got Kyle McCord with us uh, getting you ready for Q's and uh, UNLV uh, this week. As always, brought to you by our friends at Davidson Ford and Davidson Chevy. So first road game of the season, obviously, you're, you know, you're traveling Wednesday, you're playing Friday, the whole schedule's a little bit different. Uh, how have you guys uh, maneuvered through that so far this week? Yeah, uh, short week, obviously, and uh, travel getting moved up since we're going on the West Coast. Um, so I think the guys have done a good job of uh, kind of shutting the door and Holy Cross, watching the film and learning from it and, and knowing what we need to get better at. Uh, at and then, um, you know, getting right right on to UNLV. And uh, we did that literally on, on Sunday, the day after the game, which is usually kind of uh, an off day. Um, but, you know, quickly turned the page and, and got right into it. And, uh, you know, I think the guys are starting to understand, okay, everything's going to be a little sped up this week, obviously, mm-hmm. uh, given that we play a day early and, and with the travel. So uh, the level of, um, I guess, the level of urgency around the facility has been, uh, you know, pu- pushed up a little bit, which has been good to see. Well, what's the best way in something like this to make let the travel, I guess, not affect you? Is it to just be like, yeah, whatever, or mm-hmm. to like focus on our the hydration and the mm-hmm. sleep and all that? Is it to ignore it or yeah. to embrace it? No, I think you have to embrace it. Um, obviously, you know what the schedule is going to be um, of the week, and so you kind of have to structure your days. Um, around you know staying ahead of the curve and Mm -hmm. uh like you said i think hydration is important and sleep given that you know we're going on the other side of the country and playing a night game and just staying on top of all those little things that sometimes if you you know just play a normal noon kickoff game at home you necessarily don't really hone into those little details all right are you pulling the uh the starting quarterback trump card for like a good leg room seat on the plane or you like okay Savion, you're yeah. six eight. Like I need my I need my lineman to, to yeah. be properly stretched out. I'll, yeah. I'll go middle seat. You guys, yeah. you guys uh, really get comfy. Uh, if the linemen are happy, I'm happy. No. Um, yeah, I mean, guys that are you know six five, six six, and in Savion's case, six eight. He might need two rows. Yeah, he might. He might. He, he definitely needs that exit row at least. Um, so, as long as they're happy, I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll sit wherever. I'll go under the plane. I'd say the and the linemen they're already entrusted in protecting you. Yeah. That that's good people to have in an exit yeah. row. I'd imagine exactly. on a, a yeah. plane, right? Yep, one hundred percent. So, um, first time traveling uh, as a team. So I guess uh, we'll see where, where everybody's seat <laughs> kind of lands. Yeah, there's literally no history of this with this team. You had a new coach, a lot of new players, like yeah. a new trip to a place you've never been before. There's no there's no history here to lean back on on what you guys are yep. uh, getting into. Uh, we were talking about this earlier, Kyle. You, you have not played in an NFL stadium before, and yeah. now two of your next three games with this and then uh, Pittsburgh will be in NFL stadiums. Like, Is that cool for you guys? What What's the vibe for a college guy getting a chance to play where, you know, the Raiders uh, play their games? Yeah, no, it definitely is cool. Yeah. Um, I've definitely played in some, you know, really sweet environments, mm-hmm. um, you know, my three years at, o- at Ohio State and obviously uh, the first four games at the Dome. Uh, but now to, to go to an NFL stadium uh, that should get a good crowd against a good team, I think it'll be a really cool environment. Yeah, and UNLV is a good team. I, I think that's the part that maybe got lost a bit when this game, it kind of got randomly added to the schedule because Army, uh, you know, switched conferences. You had to get a game late notice. It ended up being Vegas that had this game available. And you're like, wait a minute, they won nine games last year. And now here they are. They're undefeated. Uh, they're at the talk of the country. They're, they're top 25. What, what makes them so good? What, what's the biggest test for you guys on Friday night? Uh, they play together as a team. Um, uh, they, they had some guys transfer over with the new uh, staff and, uh, 
I think that, you know, they just, they play hard and just watching the film, they've done a good job of uh, stopping teams on the run and, uh, and playing ahead of the chains for them on defense and forcing teams to, to play in, in third and long situations. And um, anytime you can get a team to constantly be in third and eight and third and 10 and third and 12 um, advantage to the defense. And so they've done a good job of getting off the field, um, creating turnovers as well. And then offensively they've, they've scored against everybody they've played. So uh, it's going to be a really good test for us um, on both sides of the ball. And, um, you know, definitely one that uh, we'll, we'll have to bring our A game. Yeah, should be a really fun game Friday. No no doubt about it. He's brought to us by 